Hi everyone and welcome to this parliamentary wrap up. Two week block that we've just come back in after the winter break. And what a big week it's been. We said we would repeal the mining tax and we have. We've worked with the cross benches, negotiated the way forward and we have now honoured yet another promise. And that's on top of getting rid of the carbon tax which ensured an 8% reduction in everybody's power and electricity and gas prices. Uh, we've stopped the boats, we're building the infrastructure of the 21st century and this government is getting on about the business of government. Now there's a lot of work to be done and this week Christopher Pine uh, brought forward in the Parliament the Higher Education Reform Bill, some of the biggest reforms we'll see in this sector in the last 40 years. These are exciting reforms, they're not reforms that people need to be scared of and I ask you this evening to make sure that if you've got an interest in this that you pay particular attention to the details, the reason behind the bill and the fact that there is so much scaremongering going on that you need to find the truth in amongst all that. Can I just remind everybody that higher education is the third biggest exporter for our country. It's valued at $15 billion. Now that's ahead of gold. So we need to understand these reforms in the context of how much they are worth in an economic sense to our country. These reforms will bring about deregulation, which the universities across Australia have been asking for and looking forward to. Yes, it is true that they've also asked for some minor amendments with some of the reform bill that Christopher Pine brought forward. And he'll be negotiating his way through that, but we need to understand the prospect for Tasmania is still bright. It will open up the opportunities for students, it will make it fair for students, and it will actually make our higher education system more sustainable. So please pay attention to the detail. You might want to even check out my website for a speech that I gave in the Parliament only a few days ago. What's also important about what's going on in Parliament at the moment is that we as a nation have got our eyes on other countries around the world, and so we should. The events that are unfolding around the world are alarming to us all. To see the images that are coming through on social media, I don't need to describe them, are absolutely evil. And we have a place in this world to make sure that we provide the humanitarian support that we really should. We're a prosperous country, we're a great country, we're a generous country, and we need to make sure that we're there with everyone else around the world to help our fellow human citizens. So I think we should be grateful for the country in which we live, spare a thought and a prayer for those that are going through a difficult time. Women being put into slavery, people being displaced all around Syria and Iraq, uh, and we really need to be grateful for the place in which we live. So until next time, have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you again in a few weeks.